Okay, tonight's video, we're gonna do a quick oil change on this 2008 Ford Fiesta 1.2 petrol engine. Gonna do this one a wee bit differently by sucking the oil out. So the only tool that we're gonna to need to do this is a little ultimate speed pump from Little, around 13 pound, and that should be enough for us to do a complete oil change on this car through that method. First things first, into the car, driver's side UK model. And we'll pop the bonnet, just hiding up in there above the pedals. So we'll get the bonnet open. Okay, we'll start getting ready here and get the oil changed. So we're going to go in and get this dip six out of the way. And we are going to use the pump to suck the oil out from where the dipstick goes in. So this little oil pump, uh, that tube is always quite tough and tight, but I we find that as it warms up, it gets a little bit more relaxed, and then you can essentially feed that down till it hits the bottom of the sump, and you'll feel it won't go any further. And the, as it gets warmer, you can be more confident that it's not curling in at the bottom, and it actually just hits. So that's it down into the bottom of the sump now. And we're aware of uh, battery issues, but we're going to use the battery in the vehicle to run the pump because it only takes a few minutes really to suck several liters out of this car. And then if needs be, we'll, have, we'll recharge that battery. But it has never come to it. We've done this many times in this car and there's never been a problem. But uh, we'll check the battery and we'll take it for a good run afterwards and make sure it's charged up again. So he's going to go ahead and connect the uh, positive terminal first. And negative last. So that's us set up and ready. Our little pump sitting there. It's fed into the uh, dipstick hole. And the other end is down into a bucket. So very soon we're going to turn this on and empty the car of oil. Okay, we'll start draining the sump of oil. Now you can hear the pickup going. There's the oil coming out at a reasonably good pace. Okay, as the oil's coming out, there he's now moving that little thing up and down so that he, he's essentially assessing the depth there to make sure that it is sitting at the very bottom. And you can tell the tone changes on the pump if it's picking up oil or not. The noise it's making now would indicate that it is picking up oil quite well. And as you can see, that bucket is filling up. And it's filling up reasonably quickly. All right, he will continue to move that up and down. Just double checking. And he's getting oil all the time. That's still filling up nicely. It's working well. And at the end, he'll check it a little bit more just to make sure he has drained the car completely. Plus, we always measure what's com what comes out of the car compared to what it's supposed to hold in a full service fill. And in any case, we measure that against what we get out of the car before we refill it again. And in the past, we've always been completely sure that we've got all the oil out. As you can see, that's got several liters out already. It'll probably retrieve about four liters, I think this car holds, something like that. This little pump was really cheap, about 13 pound. As you can see, it works the best. And we use it on this car and a few other cars to suck out the oil. It always does a great job. We're still going.
Plenty of oil coming out still. The bucket is still filling up. This will not take any more than a couple of minutes. Right, there's the tone changing, so whilst we're still getting oil, it's now time to start dipping up and down. And he will feel that going dunk as it hits the very bottom of the sump. Now that that pipe is quite warm because the car has been driven, it's flexible and it, and it is remaining straight. So it's hanging down and it's no longer curling. You can see there that it's quite relaxed. So it's essentially falling down in there like a piece of string. It won't be curling up anymore at the bottom. And that's crucial for getting into the very bottom beneath that dipstick. But we'll keep measuring here. I think we're fairly sure now that the car is very much empty of oil or very very close to it so we'll have a look there's a lot of air coming out now so we're satisfied that we've drained the car but we'll now measure what we've got out okay we put up and down with that tube and we're satisfied that we've got out all of the oil we still have to remove the oil filter. Uh, it's on the side of the engine. We'll show you that as in a wee minute. And you can see that first marker there above the oil level is four. So in this car currently, which matches what we checked on the dipstick, there was about 3.5 liters of oil in the car. And that's what we've got out. And it was halfway up the dip dipstick when we checked it. So that adds up and compares well to what we got out of the car. So we're happy enough the car is drained. The next thing we're gonna do is change the oil filter <clears throat> all right folks just to get better access to the oil filter so here's the front of the car then up underneath there's the oil filter there we have lifted the car up but in the past we have just driven it up onto a couple of little bricks just to lift it i'm not under the car i'm just leaning under so we're going to try and get this oil filter off here now by hand as i say you, you could probably just reach in and do this without actually uh lifting the car but we've just jacked it up just to make access a bit easier and we are hoping this is going to go but it's looking like it's pretty tight i'm sure you guys have been here before we might have to break out a tool to get this loosened off it looks like it's pretty well on there okay it is putting up a bit of a fight okay we're still going I think that's turning. This is a strong fella, so if he's struggling with it, I don't want to have a go. Come on, give up the ghost and come on for us. To me, that looks like it's spinning. It's coming. So that looks like a right nightmare, uh, but at least we got it without having to stab a hole in it and turn it, turn it loose with a screwdriver or something. So whenever this gets loose, we have drained it, but some oil is going to pour oh, out boy. there and uh, he's going to try and get that out of the car and turn it upright like a glass as quickly as possible to stop the oil. So there is a little bit of a spill, but we've got the oil filter out and we're going to have to fit the new one and clean that area up there with some degreaser afterwards. All right, miss it on the video, but essentially I have two gloves around that. So they can go into the bag to go down to the dump for recycling. Uh, that'll just stop it leaking, wrapping the two gloves. All right, we've got a Mal, I think it is, our oil filter. So he's got to unbox that. And uh, there's usually a little plastic cap on the end of it. Or, yeah, it needs to be pulled off. And then into the oil to lube up that seal. And the intention here is to, we're just using the old motor oil. I suppose you could use the new stuff, but the old oil does just fine. And the intention is to stop that from being a nightmare to take off the next time. So here we are back into the car with the new oil filter. And that should just screw on clockwise the other way. He's just fighting the thread, sorry. I should have kept my mouth shut. And we'll screw that on. Might be a little bit finding the threads, it's just awkward. But it should go on nice and freely until that rubber. There we go, he's got the threads. And 
It's that rubber lip there that he lubed with oil is nice and mated now against the engine and he's just nipping that just hand tight and that's it fairly tight. We will spray some degreaser down the side of the engine to get rid of that stain and that helps us check for oil leaks later on. When we're in here with a cheap can of degreaser spray and well I don't know if we've tried this one before but we're going to try and get rid of the oil stains. Yeah that's doing a good job. Uh, give it a good wipe there and we'll get this nice and cleaned up get all that oil off the engine and that'll dry out pretty quickly and that'll help us uh, later on whenever it's nice and dry when we're checking for oil leaks. So that's us back up top again and we're going to now fill the car up with oil. We're going to put three and a half liters in because that's what got out. Then we're going to dip it, see where we are on top of accordingly. <laughs> All right, we put in 3.75 litres out of this 5 litre uh, barrel into the car because we got 3.5 litres out in the bucket, as you saw earlier, and then um, some oil poured out of the oil filter when we took it out, and that should hold about 0.3 litres. So we've accounted for that for the extra point. To five liters so we have 3.75 liters in the car now we're going to start it up check for leaks turn it off let it sit for a few minutes and then dip the oil to uh, see where we are and take it from there okay we're going to start her up here now we're checking for leaks Okay, there's no leaks at the air filter, or the oil filter, everything is absolutely A-OK. -okay. So we'll let that run for a few seconds. And then we'll turn it off, let it settle, dip the oil and see where we are. Okay, the car's been sitting for a few minutes. We're hoping our sums have worked out well here. But we certainly have only put in what we got out of the car. Maybe just slightly more. Maybe 0.2 of a litre more than we got out of the car. That was around 3.5 litres. Uh, there it is. As far as I know, the distance between those two em uh, empty and full lines represents 1 litre. And it is actually full right up to, or certainly close enough to full. That's absolutely fine. And there's no leaks. So he can drive the car for the next few days and maybe check it on a cold morning just to make sure the level hasn't uh, moved and check for leaks again over the next couple of days. But as you can see, there are none underneath. Uh, this car, it's a preference to do the oil change this way because it means we don't have to mess with the sump plug and uh, there's much less chance of something going wrong. And we are quite satisfied that we can get all the oil out through this method. We've done it before on numerous cars. So that's how we've changed the oil on this Ford Fiesta 1.25 litre petrol Mark 6. Thanks very much for watching.